Hi everybody, this is Karita Love with a brief review of the HD, Sony HD bloggy camera. Um, first of all, I already unboxed it, sorry about that, but I only have 10 minutes to spare on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be as quick as possible with this review. First off, the box came with the camera. It also comes with a USB extender or adapter if you want to call it that. It has a 360 lens um, and that's this little lens here. And What it does is it allows you to shoot um, photo and video and have it as a panoramic shot. I, I, I purchased for $24.99 extra this uh, USB power adapter because it has the option of using it either for Sony products or the Apple products, which is really cool. So now on to the camera. The camera comes with a fully charged lithium-ion battery. It also comes with a 4 gigabyte play, um, PlayStation Sony SD card. And so that's really neat. It's already formatted. So you pretty much can rip this out of the box and just start taping or shooting uh, photos. Now as a, as a replacement camera, this is definitely not the one. Um, this would be for beginners or for young children or the elderly who need a simple camera, something fun, lightweight, and durable. This is very durable. I've dropped it twice. Now as you can see, there are no scratch scratches on this and it works perfectly. Some great features. Um, it does have the zoom feature, of course, an on and off button on the side, a compartment for the AV out plus the USB, which will come out so you can stick it directly into your PC to download all your photos and videos automatically. Um, it does have the slide out compartment here for your battery and your SD cards, and it has the mic on the side. On the back, of course, the camera lens is on the top, but on the back you have the screen, which is not touch screen, if anybody was curious. It has the navigation button, menu, replay button, the still photos, and the video photo button that you use. Now, great thing about this is you don't have to press the on and off button at all. You swivel the lens open and it automatically opens up for you. Um, it, does, it does power up fairly quickly, which is a really nice feature of this camera. Uh, the other great thing is with the swivel lens, you can actually rotate the lens fully. And as you can see, when you rotate the lens towards you, and see it's almost facing directly towards this direction, uh, the best part is that it auto will automatically rotate the, the uh, picture itself and continue, and continue to shoot in the right direction. So as you can see, I'm turning it back again, and you'll see the rotation. And there you go. It's almost flawless. So uh, it's really great. You can shoot still photos automatically. And you can also shoot video. And as you can see, it's recording now. So you can shoot photos. And that it just took a shot. You can shoot it sideways, vertically, upside down, whatever you want. Because the other feature of this camera is that the software provides you... Um, the, gives you the ability to rotate photos and videos to whatever direction you need them to be. So you never have to worry about what direction you're shooting at. Unlike with uh, phones, um, the iPhone camera, of course, and other video cameras and still, still cameras. Um, so to shut it off, you simply close the thing, uh, close the lens, and within like two seconds it's shut off. That's a really great feature. Uh, the reason why Sony put it in is because they wanted people to be able to shoot immediately and conveniently on the go. Uh, the only negative points I have to say about this is that the zoom feature does not work unless you are in a lower, um, a lower quality still photo shot, which is anything below 5 megapixels, or if you're using anything but 1080i uh, to shoot your video. Um, it's pretty sad. I don't know why they left out the zoom feature for the high quality. Maybe to save money, um, that's what they had to do in order to keep it a cheap uh, camera. But I, I wish they kept it in and I would have paid the extra $50, $60 for that feature. Uh, the other thing is for those who want to shoot at night, um, of course, as you can see, there is no light. This is not a light. This is actually part of the mic itself. Um, so if you were shooting in the dark for any reason or needed uh, more light for your shot, you can't do it with this camera. Uh, the other problem I have with this is if you can, if you can see this here, uh, the issue I have is this little gap here. You actually have to put a fingernail or something in it in order to open up the battery compartment to get to your SD card. Uh, that's a little annoying and it can be painful. Um, as you can see, uh, sliding this way is pretty difficult. Um, so that, that was a little issue I had. Um, but other than that, everything else is very durable. The USB is very, very durable. As you can see, it slides in and out easily. It clicks in, 
feel secure, doesn't feel like it'll ever get loose. And this has a very durable rubber um, right there so that it won't pull out or break easily like some other cameras will. Um, the battery life seems to be excellent. I've had this camera all day, turning it on and off constantly, and so far the battery is lasted. I've heard some reviews where the battery does last a full day. Um, let's say you're at an amusement park. It'll shoot four to, five, four to six hours of video and hundreds of photos, and you don't have to recharge the entire day. That's pretty neat. If that is true, and I will let you know if it is. Um, overall, really great package deal. I mean, for... $199 to get the SD card along with fully charged battery, the bonus um, panoramic lens, and I did add on $24.99 for the adapter. On top of the software that gives you the ability to rotate and do panoramic video and photos, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, the downfall with the with the software though, um, that's the bad thing. People who have Macs, this is not Mac compatible, so they left you out in the cold, buddy. Um, Sorry, Mac users, you cannot use the software that comes with this camera. And so far um, on their website, they don't have anything that I can see when you want to download the software that will allow you to download it for a MacBook or any kind of Mac at all. Uh, so far, when you want to download it from the website for your blog camera, the software itself only um, takes care of Windows 95 up to, uh, of course, the current Windows that's available out there. Uh, so yeah, that's the other downfall. But overall, um, I believe that the picture and fo uh, picture and still photo quality is pretty good. I mean, for five megapixels, it's not too shabby itself. Remember that this is a lightweight, very simple to use camera that was meant for people who want easy access to do video and photo. Again, if you are a professional vlogger. Um, I do not recommend this for you. Of course, uh, I use my iPhone for all my vlogging, and it does the job really well. Plus, it has a light when I am in a dim area, and this will not have that. Plus, although it runs at a 1080i as the highest um, set as the highest quality for your videos, uh, there are other cameras that may have better quality. Um, per se, or may just look better. Uh, the zoom feature on this camera is very choppy, so it is not a smooth transition from wide to uh, close up. So that's the other problem with this. But other than that, highly durable, uh, really great price range, lightweight, very easy to use, very easy to understand, um, comes with a great, mem you know, the uh, SD card, fully charged battery, and the bonus lens with the software. I say that this was a good buy for $199 plus tax. I did get it directly from the Sony website, which does have financing. Um, you can get up to $5,000 to use at Sony.com. So please check them out and have fun shopping for this Christmas season. I am going to be using this as an alternative to my iPhone when I'm at an amusement park, and that's the only reason why I purchased this video camera. Otherwise, I had no real use for it. Uh, so again, this is Karita Love with your review of the Sony HD bloggy camera. And um, I give it my personal, as a general consumer, I give it my personal uh, 7.5 out of 10 stars. Thank you and have a great day.